All right, PMG family, how we doing tonight, guys? In the house, we got an audience, we got a pump. You guys know in our mentorship, I'm 50xing API 3 right now. Am I going to get liquidated? I have a little cushion. Uh, but no, API 3 is absolutely crushing it, PMG fam. We're not looking at API 3 today. Crypto 2A, how you doing? In the house, Emmanuel. Like smash. Let's go. Crypto Greg, how you doing? EK Fish Fry, let's go. This is going to mess with a lot of people this trade, but we got a short. All right, Crypto Cash in the house. Let's go, guys. Make sure you guys are smashing and tapping that like button. We're going to wait for some people to get in here, and then we're going to roll the tape, all right? Now, guys, here's the deal. The market is doing amazing things for us today in crypto and trading, okay? Um, Bitcoin is about to take a dump at any minute, all right? So I'm expecting this uh, four-hour candle maybe to be a little bit of a pump, but Bitcoin is about to take a drop here very, very soon. Um, the one-hour is turning green a bit guys but bitcoin is about to drop so we're gonna go into bitcoin we're gonna break down why the market pumped i was uh talking yesterday let's see real quick here what's up in the house let's go rebecca how you doing Derek? let's go pd canada made 2k at api3 let's go all right pmg make sure you guys are smashing and tapping that like button okay All right, guys. So I'm looking at Bitcoin and I see my hourly chart. We started off at 36 and now we're slowly rising here. Okay. Now Bitcoin is going to drop and it does look like Bitcoin is going to break out of the channel and come down to where we pumped back to around 36,000. Okay. Because we started realistically pumping around here. So you have an order block around here. So anywhere around this zone, I can see BTC dropping to. All right, anywhere around this zone. And if we go look on Phantom, because you guys know I love lining Phantom up with crypto in general. Phantom needs to drop. All right, that's what Phantom needs to do. It needs to drop at some point here. Phantom has been overbought for the whole day. All right, so Phantom definitely needs to drop. I'm not too worried about Phantom. And it will drop. Um, it, Phantom's already out of the channel on your four hour. It's already out of the channel on your one hour. So not really worried about Phantom there. How we doing, guys? Smash that like button, PMG fam. We got to get this thing trending tonight. All right, PD Canada in the house. Raph, how you doing? We're going up soon. Yeah, we're going to have a mega pump, guys. And I'm going to show you why we're going to have a pump. I made 400 from API 3 yesterday. All right, guys. So API 3 is our top call, okay? Um, of course not right now. I do got to be looking at API 3 every now and then because I've got a trade lined up on API 3, okay? And we are about to tank, so we'll see what happens. There's, uh, Let's see if there's smart money coming in, a bit of smart money in the market, a bit of smart money. Not too much. I'm not too worried about API 3 right now. Let's go back to Bitcoin real quick. Okay, guys. So Bitcoin, yeah, Bitcoin is looking really good. Um, kind of, but not really because you're probably going to drop here. And it already did drop to 37. What might happen on Bitcoin, though, is you might get a pump. If you look right here, you guys, your resistance is right here. Your major, major resistance area, okay? This would be your, this would honestly be your major, major resistance area. And Bitcoin might pop off back to that area right there, but I cannot see Bitcoin breaking it. And the reason I cannot see Bitcoin breaking it, guys, is because you're already overbought. So you're just going to try to hit that resistance until you drop back to where Bitcoin was originally. 
Short gala at 28. Where would you take profit? I'm doing great, fam. Let's go, PMG. Smash that like button, guys. All right, we got to go to Luna. We got to go to Luna, guys, because I do have a trade running in Luna right now. Luna is very, very frustrating. Luna should be dropping at some point in time here. So Luna's a short, and Luna's just not dropping. So for anybody that's in this Luna trade... Um, our stop loss, I think I said it was 56, 70 guys. Luna might try to get back to 56, 45 or whatever that is, 56, 30, but I can't see Luna going up much further. And the reason being is Luna is completely overbought on both time frames. Luna should tank real, real soon. Um, I'm not worried about Luna at all. This this is going to drop at some point in time here. It might go for another wick. This is why we got a stop loss, and this is also why I raised my stop loss on Luna. I just don't see a break in the channel. They're trying to wick everybody out, guys. Literally wick everyone out who is shorting Luna right now. That's why we're a bit smarter. So Luna should reject in this zone right here if it doesn't. Then I can see Luna pushing up to 56.46. I can't see Luna going much further, though. All right, 56.80 is stop loss, and I think we're good. We should be good because we need to catch this wick right here. It already catched that wick, caught that wick. Um, we, we need to break the channel for this trade to be invalid. But if you guys look right here on Terra Luna, this is a channel, okay? It has followed the channel for a couple of days and you're peaking at the high of your channel. So I don't see it dropping anymore. Wouldn't that be funny if it wicked up to 57? I'd lose my mind. SLB broke trend. I don't, I don't even, great API three. Let's go Chris in the house. Okay, back to another trade here. FTM guys, you want to go to FTM. CJ, DV, how we doing? Let's go. Mixed Martian Arts Club everywhere. API 3 flagging on the 15 minute. Yeah. It's possible for API 3 to keep on skyrocketing, guys. Look, API 3 definitely is going to. Um, I have, so API 3 might run to about here and then drop again. API 3 might consolidate before dropping, but it will drop. Definitely will drop at some point in time here. It's going to consolidate in this zone, try to pick up new buyers, and then it should drop for sure. Um, okay, we'll get back to those coins, guys. Make sure you guys are smashing that like button. Let's look at SLP. Oh, SLP is about to pop. SLP is chugging back some pre-workout here. Smooth Love Potion, right? It broke out originally, um, and you were on a huge downtrend on the one hour. Okay, so it hasn't broke out yet. It hasn't broke out of your channel yet. So I'm expecting SLP to pump to right around here. 0207. And then SLP should reject. Yeah. So 0307 is probably, or sorry, 0207 is probably where SLP is going to pump to. And then drop. Maybe come back down to here where you pumped and then keep on following that channel. So it is pumping for sure. If you look at the one minute, you're painted red with smart money. If you look at the one second, you're definitely painted red with uh, one minute painted red with smart money. So you're not doing too bad on SLP. I see a gap on the one hour BTC. All right, guys, 12 days time to pop SLP. Uh, SLP has been going pretty good. So. Let me look at SLP on the daily real quick. 
Yeah, the daily looks like SLP might be ready to fly. And if that is the case, then SLP could run realistically, SLP could run to around 12 to 14 cents. Like realistically, if it comes up on the daily, but your two opposing indicators are saying different. Can you please look at link? I am shorting it, took profit, bought back in half the way up. How high do you see it going? Should I bail or hodl? Um, let's look at chain link here. So, yeah, so SLP is fine. We'll look at Gala too, but chain link, I'm expecting a rejection there on SLP. If it doesn't reject, it is going to fly. Uh, chain link, I don't know. Give me a minute, guys. I got to look at my trades as well, too, here. Okay. Wow, Tara Luna is holding no victim here. Luna is running. Okay, we'll see what happens on Tara Luna. Not too worried. Um... Okay, so Chainlink is following a channel too. Pretty good here in the one hour. So we're probably going to get Chainlink to run to about to around 14. Uh, you know what? I would even say right around here to about 14. Yeah, 14. Chainlink is starting to pump. So this is how we know coins are starting to look bullish, guys, is because they're actually following their trends. Now, I don't like the money flow. I definitely don't like the money flow indicator. Um, and I don't like what Chainlink is doing right now with the consolidation. But yeah, Chainlink could definitely go to around 1473. But I, I don't see Chainlink pumping much more than that right now. Okay, so I don't see Chainlink pumping more than that. I see it rejecting around here. If we're looking at the daily guys, uh, it does look like Chainlink could run up. You know, completely bottomed out here and formed a double. Oh, wow. Chainlink formed a double bottom. Chainlink definitely formed a double bottom here. So Chainlink could run on the daily upwards of. You break out of this right here. You're probably going to run around to $30 on, on Chainlink. And it does need to break that neckline. But if it does break that neckline, it is going to complete the double bottom and it will skyrocket. All right. Luna does not want to come down. Yeah. But Luna is going to drop when it does. All right. Okay, guys, I'll, I'll keep an eye on Luna. Don't worry about that. Here's the thing. Luna should come down because it is completely overbought. What is the coin of the night? API 3. I'll tell you guys where to get API 3, okay? So I'm shorting API 3. Obviously, everybody knows. Like I said, we're probably going to consolidate in this area. A little pump. We have a bit of smart money. Not too much. Smart money mostly exited the market on API 3 right here okay this is where smart money left now you're going to get some buyers buying the dip price is going to pump a bit you might get smart money pump it to around 772 possibly i doubt it um but that is that with api3 where you're going to want to buy api3 or get into api3 guys is right here api3 should drop down to here okay it should drop down to your order block because this was your last bullish order block and you see how much it has been pumping so api3 should drop down to around six dollars and then absolutely skyrocket and explode and i told you guys the other night i said look at api3 guys i'm going to bed i need you guys to watch api3 didn't hit the bottom of the channel but it hit pretty darn close guys and if you see right here um, now it's in consolidation phase. So we're just going to have that little retest. And then after that, we're going to 12 to $13 on API three.
So I would say buy would set a buy limit for for six dollars around there. Awesome, Marcel. Let's go. Yeah, API three was one of the best calls in my opinion. All right. How does the smart money indicator work? Sure, Zana. I'm not sure if you're a part of the mentorship. I do recommend joining it. We're going to be having a big, big live uh, for the members this Friday, guys. I am going to be in LA. Uh, so I'll be able to have more time to do stuff there. But we are going to have a big live for the membership. What am I doing? Sorry. Big live for the membership, guys. And what we are going to do is we are going to um, be looking at indicators for all the new people. There's a lot of new in people. So smart money, this is pretty simple right here. So I go on the one minute time frame on the one second time frame. Okay. And what smart money basically does is your red is your smart money. So if you're looking at a coin and you're looking at longing a coin and it is like this, you're going to go sideways. Okay. And I, I'm using API three for an example, but you're going to go, go sideways, right? Once you see this smart money roll in, you're going to see an uptrend and you're going to see a large uptrend. You're not going to see a small uptrend because that is where the money is flowing in. That's where the big money is going. All right, fam. Right now, people are buying the dip, uh, not necessarily smart traders, just people who are FOMOing. Now, if I go to the one second time frame, I'm going to see that there's smart money, smart money, smart money. And this is a perfect example. Um, I should be using this for a mentorship but guys, this is a perfect example right here, okay? Smart money, smart money, smart money. Dumb money, dumb money, dumb money, okay? Look at the price. Smart money, smart money, dumb money. Now dumb money is completely filling up the screen. And with dumb money filling up, you're probably going to see the price drop. There you go, okay? membership has its privileges uh did i ask permission to come to la i'm going to la baby i don't care la la all the way any chance i can do gala how to join membership it's www.clubmoongold.com guys i'm really excited because our trades have been really good obviously we will lose some trades we're not perfect um but Today was a rough trading day for me. I had to work out. I have to go to the gym. I was pissed off at a couple of the charts. And then I took a break and I'm like, man, this has been following exactly as it should have been. So we closed some trades. We got in some trades, making money already, right? We try to make money every day. Can't always promise that. But if you're looking at Gala, Gala is not necessarily doing anything right now. I know I said Gala could fly and I still am holding that. But what I don't like about Gala is Gala hasn't really pumped. Gala popped off to 25 and hasn't really done anything. I guess from 21 cents, that is a pretty good deal on Gala. Um, but no, Gala hasn't done really that much. What is that indicator? It is smart money. How do you know when smart money comes? You just watch the red. Um, so I'm expecting gala, honestly, though, guys, if I'm looking at gala real quick on the four hour, because that's what we need to look at. Personally, I would not be long in gala. Um, I'd be looking at a short on gala. Not yet though. Right. So gala could, yeah, gala is probably going to pop off to around 25, seven in that area before rejecting. Okay. So you have your order block right here. I think I drew this. No, I, yeah. All right. So right here is where I'm looking at a rejection point on Gala around that area. Price target would be here. So if you want, you could long Gala probably. Uh, do I recommend it? You know, give or take. Um, it is kind of following the channel, but it should reject at around 25 to 26. All right, guys, KDA, Flux, 
MTV, DAR. Flux at 45 cents possible. Let me look at Flux and see what Flux is doing. All right, guys, make sure you guys are smashing and tapping that like button, PMG found. Okay, Flux is not going to 45 cents. I do not see that happening. Luna's running out of steam. Hopefully. I say that, but... Um, okay, let's look at Flux real quick here, fam. So if you guys are jumping on the API 3 short with me, understand is it's a very risky short, but it's going to be profitable if you, uh, if you can... Yeah, if we, if we can make money on it. So, Someone said I'm sick. No, I just have allergies here in uh, America for some weird reason. Apparently, the cedar is pretty bad here. Uh, okay, what am I doing? Flux. Flux is probably going to run. We're looking at this order block. You already hit it. I do plan on doing a conference in LA, guys, but I don't want to tell you when because uh, it's not planned. I think Flux is going to hit 146 and then reject, at least on the four hour, uh, because Flux is overbought. Is Flux on perpetual? Because this would actually be a really good trade. Yeah, Flux is also about to pop off on the daily. Um, so after this retest, we can probably see Flux running possibly to 191 and if it breaks that area right here yeah you know what flux might skyrocket to two dollars plus um because you got to look at the daily and what's happening with the daily and your daily is your overall trend now the only thing i don't like about flux right now oh yeah it is curving okay so yeah flux could flux could run quite a bit uh, if you look at your daily trend on Flux, and I'll look at Kadena too after this. Right, you had a downtrend on your daily. We all knew that. Okay, so pretty much all of uh, January, you've had a downtrend on Flux. But the bullish part, guys, is Flux actually hasn't broken that middle, your baseline on your Bollinger Band. So it retested here, here. It's been holding massive support. You guys could see that right here. And now Flux could literally pop off to $2 on the daily. I would say one, I would say 180 to $2 on Flux. Local made honey. I don't know. I got Zyrtec and a bunch of other stuff here, guys. But I'm really happy, PMG. Make sure you guys are smashing that like button, guys. I really want to make this a top YouTube channel in the world. I think that we have a really good potential of being one of the best communities for trading. And you guys are going to see we're going to work lifestyle into it. Trading is all emotions. It's not much of TA. Yes, TA plays a factor into it. Um, oh, real quick. Where should you get Flux? I think I already said this, but Flux will reject here and it'll come back to around 130. Looks like that's going to happen. Um, the reason I say trading is all emotions, guys, is as soon as I took my emotions out of it, I've been down $1,000 when I first started trading. I almost cried. Okay, I'm like, oh my God, I can't trade. But then I realized dollar cost average. I realized the market is going to do what the market is going to do. And I realized know your risk. And if you guys know your risk, you're pretty much never going to lose at trading. And if you take emotions out of the game, you should never lose at trading. Ryan Crypto Dirty, I got something coming. Do I see BTC falling below 35K? What's up, Luna haters? Not a hater. I'm just trying to make money off of Luna. What, what's happening with Luna? I don't like that comment. I'm telling you guys, we will lose trades, but...
but again, we'll win most of them. And right now, Luna's dilly-dallying, dancing, so definitely losing steam right here. So Kadena's kind of consolidating right now. Uh, Kadena's doing the same thing Flux is, although Flux is a bit more bullish. Kadena's still going down in your money flow. I look at my money flow all day, family, because your money flow – Honestly, in my opinion, it's one of the best indicators. We got that trend line right here looking good, bouncing off that trend line. So real quick, guys, when people were saying that the market is bearish, of course, I had to play along a bit, guys, but I want to show you something. All these coins, and I've been saying this for the past whatever on the live stream, guys, all these coins have been holding this weekly channel. And I said, we're either going to tank and never recover for almost a year, six months, or we're going to go up. So what I started doing is I started getting positions right here on every single coin. Now I had a stop loss set, very tight stop loss would probably lose me 25% of my money, but I was so sure because BTC had that double bottom. By the way, Kadena could possibly go to Upwards of $200, okay, this year, and maybe more, um, because it's following that channel. Now, if we go back to BTC USDT, guys, all right? Excuse me, I really got to be looking at this Luna trade left and right. You guys are probably in the same trade with me. By the way, Luna trade is still in play the short. All right. Yeah, it's running out of steam. Perfect. Okay, so if we go to BTC, guys, I want to show you guys the same thing here. Everyone's saying BTC, bear market, bear market, bear market. What did I say about the full moon, right? Okay, there you go. Bitcoin was holding on by a thread, guys. But if you've seen this real quick here, nobody is, well, some people are pointing this out. But Bitcoin, all Bitcoin did was hit the bottom of the weekly channel, guys. That's it. I'll take away this red line here. Look at that. Weekly, boom, double bottom, boom. on the, Double bottom pretty much on the weekly, if you will. And if you look at the daily real quick, guys, in the market, yeah, we're rejecting right now. So what? We're dropping. We want to drop. Bitcoin needs to retest after this big pump, guys. But we formed a double bottom on your daily we pretty much formed a double bottom on your weekly and now we go parabolic and if it breaks this neckline we're looking upwards of 80 to 100k luna is backing ust made 1 billion on private sale yes that is why i'm shorting luna because it pumps so hard at least we have some price action. Absolutely, guys. Make sure you guys are smashing that like button, guys. Let's go. Let's run it up. Share it to your friends. TA and trading are two different things. Lionel, you are correctly right. There's TA and then there's trading. Okay, Sandbox, Colette, I got you. Okay, I hope you guys like these live streams. Sorry, I was about to type your name in. Shout out to you. Um, Sandbox. Okay, guys, so Sandbox is also kind of looking semi-bullish. Um, did we form a double bottom on Sand? Because I believe we did. Mm. Kind of, not really. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say so. But anyway, so Sand, where can Sand go, guys? Sand's going to go to around 340 and then drop. Okay, so sand, boom, retest, boom. It should maybe retest a bit on the one hour. I think it's going to, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to consolidate. So it's going to drop, 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 boom, until it hits that order block at around 330 to 340. Okay, and then I'd be shorting sand. When I get into sand, obviously back here, everything's going to fall to around the bottom. 296 to around 280 when it drops on your four hour and then we pump and then we keep on going up and then the daily is going to go up and then we're going to be good so in my opinion we're going to go up on the daily once we retest on the four hour then we'll really be pumping what are the winners tonight 
Cody, I was not confident. I told you guys, I do not know what is happening with the market. And I'm going to firstly say, guys, I did not know what was happening. I was giving you guys ideas, all right? Because I don't want you guys to say rise and then it drops. I don't want you guys to say pump and then it. Uh, KDA, I, I don't know what I said KDA would drop to. I know sand is probably going to pump to around that area. Uh, KDA, USDT. So KDA will drop to, see KDA is in an uptrend. So I would wait till KDA is overbought in that four hour. Okay. So I think KDA can pump to around here. You know what? Actually, I think KDA is going to run to around here, 717 before rejecting. Because it seems to be following this little consolidation trend. So you're probably going to drop her at around $7 to around 7 Let's see if we have a better order block here. We're already passing this, okay? We need to pass 654, but in my opinion, our major order block is going to be 720 before we drop on the four hour on KDA. All right, guys, boom, right in that area right there. When is BTC going to bottom and move on? Guys, BTC has to retest after a pump. This is normal on a double bottom. On a double bottom, if you look at your TA, you, you need... Okay, real quick. Like I said, it could pump a bit, but uh, double bottom, you're going to pump, you're going to retest, and then you're going to pump. So if you look at the four hour, guys, four hours pretty much going to drop um but you're going to retest and then you're going to break out and you're going to pump right now the market is not going to do that because you cannot just keep on pumping keep in mind after this retest you got that blank space all the way to forty-two thousand. if i do my trend line um Right here, Bitcoin already broke out. So now what Bitcoin needs to do, it needs to retest that breakout. And that breakout is pretty much going to be, honestly, it's probably going to reject and, and come back to around 36.3 is what I'm expecting because it does need to retest. Um, you could literally come down to 37.3, yeah, and then rise, but the four hours overbought too. So in my opinion, you're going to drop to 36. If you break that trend, you drop back down. Dent, you want me to look at Dent? I didn't even know Dent was still a project. Um, okay, so Dent has a double bottom too. Yeah, Dent does have a double bottom and it is in play. So Dent might fly. That is actually a really good call because... So on the four hour dent, we'll go to around 002541 in that area right there. Let's see something. Yeah. Pretty much around here. Um, if we go to the two hour as well. Yeah. So I would say dent's going to go to around uh, 2553 before rejecting.
Luna is finally running out of steam. Okay, so Dent on the daily, guys. Well, we're looking at the top where it dropped, right? So you're looking at about here, which means Dent breaks this area right here after that retest. You're probably looking at about 37% on Dent before it drops, but it does need to break that neckline um, before it before it pumps. We need to go to 40, yeah, 42 to 45. And that it, honestly, guys, subjectively, we need to go to 50. Binance or Pancake, I would never do it, only trade it. I would never hold it, only trade it or using BNB as a stable coin. I would. Anyone uh, still loving Near? Let me look in Near real quick. Yeah, Nier is looking okay. Did Nier form a double bottom? Not really. I guess you can say kind of. Honestly, everything formed a double bottom, but not really, no. Um, but Nier is actually looking pretty good here. So Nier is also a coin I've been watching very, very carefully. And Nier is probably going to push up to this area right here. Okay, so sideways, consolidate, and boom, right here, guys, around 932. Reject in this area right here. That is going to be your order block on the four hour. Um, if Nier pumps to that area, it should. And then after that, it'll obviously reject to the spot where it pumped. And you're looking at about in this area right here where it took off 866, the retest down to about there. Around that area. And then near will fly after that. But keep in mind, guys, this is just a pump and a retest. So you have the confirmation of the breakout. Now you need the retest. And if Bitcoin does retest, near is going to fly after the herb. If near retests to that area, and holds uh, near will definitely run and run a lot. Okay, so near needs to break this area right here around 951. Is that where our order block is? Yep, pretty much right there. Boom. Uh, sorry, I said 951, 980, around 980. Okay, multivac nearly. Let's go. Phantom dropping. All right. Phantom doing pretty good. Guys, smash that like button, guys. Let's run it up. The club is popping. We're going to make some profit. That double bottom just signifies, but we need to break that neckline. So don't be super bullish just yet. Um, I've seen FTM dropping, so I just want to go look at it quick. I have some trades open on some coins, so that's why. FTM will drop at some point here. FTM is going to tank. Um, okay, we'll come back into FTM in a bit. Someone wanted to look at Binance coin. Luna seems to be running out. I say that and then it just gasses up again. I think I picked the worst coin to short because of that billion investment. But the thing is, I know when it pumps, it's going to drop. Same thing like API, right? More it pumps, more it's gonna drop. Um, right, so probably you're looking at BNB popping off to here as well. And guys, it's all holding the trend, right? You gotta look at your trend. The trend is seriously your friend. Everybody's talking about FUD with Putin and Russia and Ukraine, guys. It hasn't changed the market one bit. All this has done is bring us to levels. Okay, so you're, there we go. So you're going to pop off to your order block right about here. Boom, right there, 384, and then reject, which BNB is also a very, very good coin to trade because it does run along with Bitcoin.
The market will boom. Yeah, of course it will. As much as we say FUD is playing out, guys, yeah, of course FUD is playing out. I'll agree. It definitely is. But all it's doing, it is bringing the market back to the levels on the weekly, okay? That is all the market is doing, fam. That is it. Nothing else. Um, now, if we break that weekly, then I'm worried about FUD. People coin. All right, what is people doing? And you guys can argue all you want, but it has been holding the weekly channel, okay? Uh, people dropped to four cents, guys. I did say it was coming back to that area. Uh, so same thing with people, guys. People is probably going to reject... Go sideways a bit, come up here, and then reject at around 541. Now, there is a very good possibility that people, if we use our order block here in the four hour, and I'm looking at the four hour guys because that is your initial trend, which is why I shorted Luna. If it was still going up, I wouldn't have even touched Luna. Okay, so. Yeah, you're looking at about here at about 525 to 53 for this uh, thing to reject. You know what? It might even wick up to around 54, but anywhere in this area would be your order block. And that's where people is probably going to reject before going crazy if it does go crazy. Mines of Darlarnia making moves, FTM going to run. FTM's tapped out for now. Okay, so let me check what, what's happening with FTM here. FTM's only running because of Bitcoin. So FTM's going to try to chase this wick at around 161 to 162. But FTM needs to drop on the, on the one hour. Okay, so same with Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin has been dropping. So like I said, guys, Bitcoin might try to chase this wick and come back up to around here, 38.2, and then reject. So we'll have to see what this one hour does. But you have to look at Bitcoin, guys. Bitcoin is also overbought. I would say we're going to try and chase this wick right here. But I give you guys good news. I don't give you guys bad news. The good news, we should reject here. The bad news is that it could definitely come to 38.8. If we break out of this area right here, 38.3, we're going to go up to 38.8. But even then, it shouldn't. It will definitely drive liquidities and liquidate people, but you're going to consolidate probably in this area before breaking out. Unless there's some real big smart money that comes in here, I don't think we're going to break out of this. And then you have big smart money. <laughs> like I said, right? So definitely smart money pumping Bitcoin right now, which is ultimately going to pump Phantom. And you also got four minutes left on that candle. Uh, FTM is going to reject off the 51 hour MA. Why don't I have my moving averages up here? Oh, right. Because I, uh, I took everything off for the videos. Um, let's go to 50 real quick. Yeah, there you go. So, FTM should pump and, and reject. It's been rejecting. So I don't see it passing this area. If it passes this area, we're definitely going to 38.8. So hold on to your horses, guys. We'll see what happens. But the ultimate indicator here isn't even smart money. The ultimate indicator is this right here. Guys, money flow. Okay? Right here, money flow is going up, 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 doing good. 
right here. It was going up. You guys can see this. Money flow does not lie. Okay, money flow. Boom. Boom. Okay. RSI, stochastic. Boom. Now, now you would consolidation. What happened? Consolidation. Wow, that is spot on. What happened? Pump. Rejection. What happened? Go down. Okay. Sorry for the ugly writing, but I just... The money flow tells me everything, and then it hasn't been wrong in a trade. I would have said close every single trade if this money flow was pointing up because now I see that Bitcoin is oversold on the one hour. And if I go on the four hour, money flow isn't pointing up like here. Money flow is just consolidating. So what happens when you consolidate? You're going to consolidate until people get bored, and people will get bored. The bulls are trying to push up the price. Nice rejection off of the daily. And then also because I know we're not going up two more is the rejection off the daily. You have that double bottom. What happens with the double bottom? You need to retest before you explode. Okay, so with Luna, guys, take off your stop loss. And if you didn't, then you just got stopped out. Luna's... Give me a minute. It should reject here. It literally wicked up. It literally wicked up to this to this area right here. Which was 5652 and it literally wicked up to here. I'm I'm sticking with my Luna guys. I'm sticking with my Luna. If you guys hit your stop loss, I'd be shorting Luna. Definitely here. Because here's the thing. Your money flow is pointing down. If you guys got stopped out, which is great because then you can get back in higher. I would wait for this 10-minute candle to finish. And then I would stay in that Luna short. I'm just confident this thing's going to drop. And the reason being is you've been overbought for so long. You're four hours overbought. You can't really go much higher than this because now this is your major resistance. Okay. I don't see it breaking that. Ryan, I appreciate you. I know Luna's hot. I know, but at the same point in time, you're not, you're not going to break this resistance on a or overbought on the four hour. You're just not. I don't know. I'm staying in my Luna trade personally myself. I would uh, get back in if I were you guys on the one hour close or on the four hour close, but it definitely does seem like it's rejecting at that resistance zone. 59.57 liquidation is good. Yeah, for sure. I don't see it hitting that. Uh, Solana, give me a minute, guys. I need to write a message in the mentorship group.
Yeah. It can go as high. Every pump lately has led to a drop. Smart money leaves on smaller time frames for sure. All right. Okay, Solana. Let's go to Solana. Solana can run a bit. Uh, Solana will probably push up to this area right here if we're looking at our trend. You guys got to do your own judgment too as well when, when you get stopped out. Sometimes getting stopped out means don't run away from the trade. Um... Yeah, so Solana's probably going to go to about here uh, before rejecting, at least on the one hour. But I'm expecting Solana to break this and definitely go to about 95 in this area, in this order block zone right here. Okay, so for everybody asking about Luna, guys, if Luna breaks this, close your short. If Luna breaks this area at and keeps on going up at 58.26, close your short. If it breaks that area, if it doesn't, then you should be good. But if it breaks that area, then close your short. 58.26, because 59 would be liquidation price. Can I look at API 3? For sure. API 3, let's look at API 3. Okay, so API 3 is looking like it will drop here at some point in time. It needs to bounce off. The, it needs to drop because API 3 already pumped a bit. Your money flow is pointing down on API 3. So API 3 will either drop to this area right here, 666, or it'll drop to around 598 to $6, which would be a more likely price to drop to because you're going down. Gala going to be very big. They're doing decentralized music and movies. Gala is going to be huge. Okay, COS, Cocos. I think that's, oh, Contentos, different. This pumped a lot too. Oh, wow. This, this dropped a lot. Pumped a lot, but dropped a lot. It's a big wick. Um, does look like this one is falling. I don't know much about this coin. There seems to be a lot of dumb money in it. It'll come back to around 132 though. Actually, it'll come back to where it started pumping. So pretty much around this area right here. So 1280 would be your order block. API 3, API 3 is doing good. Kind of playing out.
Can I look at crypto.com? Sure, no problem. Okay, so crypto.com is looking okay. So crypto.com will probably go to about four. Oh. Okay, what's Bitcoin doing? Yeah, so crypto.com is probably going to go to about, uh, I would say 43 to 40. 42 would be a good rejection. It's already overbought. So anywhere in this zone right here, I would say 41, 42 would be a good rejection area on this order block. And it should retest here. If you're looking at your one day, crypto.com is really oversold. And it does look like we, no, we didn't have a double bottom, but wick down to 37, which on your weekly was really, really good support. All right. So it literally wicked to the bottom now, crypto.com. If you really want to look at this year's prediction, probably could go to around $2. Especially if you hit this wick. So you're looking at about $2 on crypto.com, at least for the year. Matic. Look at Matic. Guys, I know the market is bullish, but I cannot tell you no matter how many times order blocks do not lie. OK, it doesn't matter if there's fight. It doesn't matter if the president of whatever order blocks do not lie. Now, if you pass an order block, you're going to look at the next order block. All right. So I can't guarantee it's not going to pass that order block. But what I can say is uh, it'll definitely go to the next order block. Um, so Matic is looking good on the weekly, right? You're looking at about four or five dollars. But if you're looking at a shorter term on Matic. Maddox probably going to play out to this 160 range and then drop. Which also happens to be your trend on your... Yeah, it'll probably go from 154 to 160 in that zone right there. And if I look at Bitcoin right now, Bitcoin is going up on your um, your uh, whatever you call it, your RSI and your stochastic RSI. Well, your RSI, but your money flow. But then at the same point in time, Bitcoin needs to break this for it to really skyrocket everything i personally don't think we have enough juice on the four hour to break that but we'll have to see if we break that guys we're going definitely to this area right here at that order block around 38.9 to around 39,000. alpha double bottom on the weekly i've seen that random guy let's look at alpha Yeah, so you pretty much got that double bottom on Alpha on the weekly. 
um, which could definitely skyrocket alpha. I was looking at alpha the other day and alpha is looking like it'll fly on the daily guys. So on this uh, four hour retest, I would definitely be looking at picking up alpha. Cause especially on a double bottom on the weekly, that is brutal. This thing will fly. So you're probably looking at about here, 34, with the rejection. In that area. And then Alpha should retest. It'll go up on the daily. I think Alpha Finance is absolutely going to fly. You got to keep in mind, guys, Alpha has been on a downtrend since February 11th. But you got to look at Alpha's all-time high, right? If we go to the weekly, Alpha was around $1.45 and now it's at $0.30. Cents. So if we go to our blank space on our VPVR, you're going to pop off to 36 after that retest. Resistance here, if you break that, you're automatically going to uh, All right, guys, keep on smashing that like button, family. Yeah, I see we're breaking trends. I see that. Guys, make sure you do your own due diligence if you should get out of trades or not. Um, I, I'm saying we're fine unless we unless we break out of this. Okay, I'm going to go back to Luna real quick here. You're breaking that daily resistance on, on Luna. So Okay, give me a minute. I'm going to break down Luna a bit more before we uh, end the stream, guys. All right. So here's what needs to happen on Luna, okay? Because this pumped from 48 all the way to now 56, okay? On your four hour, you got to keep that in mind. Okay, so that would pretty much be your new wick. That means Luna would go up to about there and naturally should reject. If it doesn't reject, then it would be in price discovery. And if it doesn't reject, then you're looking at breaking out of this pretty much trend right here. Now you're also, and this is why I said to move up the stop loss a bit, you're also needing to break this. Okay, this is your major, major resistance on Luna right now, 5770. Like I said, guys, if Luna breaks, what did I say, 5786 or something for new stop loss? If Luna breaks that, it's going to fly, and then I'd probably be longing that instead of shorting that to around 69 to 70. Yeah, Jose, I agree. It is breaking the channel, but it's also holding that, so... Um, let's go back to Gala. I know some people have some trades in Gala. So where did I say Gala was going to come up to? I think I said Gala could come up to this area right here. So 
So I like to see Gala hit 26 and then reject around 26, wake up to there, and then it should reject around that area. This candle will be a wick. It has to. Yeah, it has to be a wick. Ryan Crypto Dirty, let's go, PMG. Okay, I want to go back to API 3, guys. We're pretty much done the stream tonight. Make sure you guys join the mentorship, www.clubmoongold.com. If you guys haven't shorted API 3, API 3 is still in play, at least for now. Um, so you're looking good on it. I know it is coming up on the four hour, but you have that major resistance that has to break through. So we'll see what happens. And if you're looking at your 45 minute, you're about to drop on your 45 minute, but keep in mind guys, when this drops, it'll drop, but when it pumps, it does pump. So don't stay in this short. I'd be looking around at $5.99 to $6 um, for me to get back into this API trade. No problem, guys. I'm just looking at what I'm seeing, and I'm seeing the market hit major resistance. Of course, Bitcoin is probably going to pop off to here. Test this wick if you're looking at Phantom. Phantom's obviously going to come back up, test this wick. Market's bullish, guys. This is why I don't shorten a market like this. But there are order blocks, and order blocks do not lie. So you're going to test about 163 before dropping. And this one hour on Phantom is pointing down on your money flow. So I can see a wick up to 163 maybe. Maybe 165 and then coming back down to chase the wicks. No problem, guys. If you're not in the mentorship, join it, guys. I'm going to be doing a live trading for everybody, uh, live training for everybody in uh, the mentorship on Friday. We'll plan it. We'll plan a time. So here, yeah. So Luna is trying to break out which is why I said don't close your trade yet. This is essentially where you don't want to close the trade because Luna's trying to break out. So at this point, I can see Luna wicking up to 57.32 and maybe possibly 58.22, but that is a far stretch, right? You're already over bottom 30 minute too. So there's that as well. Um, and if you're looking at the 15 minute, you're almost over bought in the 15 minutes. So there definitely is some opposing indicators, but in my opinion, it will not break that major resistance on the four hour. Definitely on the daily, it will. After this retest, guys, Luna is going to fly. And we can definitely see Luna. After this retest, we can see Luna breaking out and going to about eighty to a hundred dollars. Order blocks do get broke. Absolutely, they get broken, but you just got to go to the next order block, right? <laughs> Random guy, let's go. All right. Uh, can I do a fib on Polygon for a weekly and monthly real quick? Matic, weekly, monthly. I would like to follow my fib more than anything. Um, so monthly on Polygon. Thanks for the super chat, by the way. You want me to do a fib? I can do a fib, but... Well, we'll do both. We'll do a fib and then we will finish off here with the channel. So realistically, guys, even though Polygon hit that, it hit the resistance on the monthly. Okay. Which is perfect because you're looking like this is on the monthly, guys. This is yours, right? You're looking at about 77 on Polygon, but officially you're looking at about 12 on Polygon. 
And if you get rid of this on Matic, uh, you go to the channel. Right, you're floating. So you can definitely go up to about, you know, I would say 20 bucks on Matic. Um, and if you go to the weekly, Five dollars, four or five dollars puts you at four or five dollars, which is about the same as the channel. Angel, how you doing? Let's go. What is take profit on Luna? I would say fifty to forty nine, but we need Luna to not break that resistance. Uh, Kryptonian, I appreciate you. API three moving. Everything is just so damn bullish, guys. It's not even funny how things are this bullish. So here's what's happening, okay? What is happening, guys, is the market is pushing the prices up to the four-hour close, which is absolutely insane because you've stayed overbought for the whole day of February 22nd. So you're going to chase that wick most likely and then, and then come back down, but... Like API 3 is running out of steam a bit. And you can actually see API 3 is pointing up a bit, but curving down. So completely overbought. Um, but I'm not worried about any of these coins. They're just pushing up because of Bitcoin a bit. Market makers are setting their shorts. Yeah, Lionel, I do agree. Definitely agree with you. This is just too crazy of a pump because you're overbought on the one hour, the four hour, everything, or not the one hour in Bitcoin. But personally, I think um, we're going to have a pretty good drop. Okay, guys, smash that like button. Uh, should you close the API short? I don't want to say no, but I don't want to say yes. This thing pumped a lot. I'm not closing my short, but that's just me. I dollar costed average and I took out the 50X, by the way. I originally 50X this. Um, could this come up? Here's the ultimate question, guys. Could API 3 come up to 819 again? It might, it might realistically come up to around 782, but I can't see it going much higher. I'm holding with what I know, guys. I, I see us uh, dropping eventually here. So, all right, guys, smash that like button. Don't trade with emotions. Uh, that is the biggest thing I can say to you guys. And then we'll look at the market later. But everything is pretty much tapping out on the four hour. Bitcoin's going for that extra juice. But again, guys, I don't see it breaking out here. I just don't. It, it, and I'll tell you guys why I don't see it breaking out here. Your top wick was here, okay? Unless this money flow starts curving up, God, I hope not. Nothing is happening on Bitcoin right now until we break out of here. If we break out of 38, what did I say? 38.4, then we're going to here. If we don't break out, we're not. And you can see there is a bit of resistance here already, right? So your 45 minute, yeah, you're curving up, guys, but your money flow is not doing anything. One hour, yeah, you're curving up, but and you're 30 minute, yeah, you're coming up, but you're kind of consolidating. Whereas here, you were actually going up, now you're chilling, right? So we might come back and forth, back and forth. Um, back on Luna, real quick, PMG fam. Okay, I'm not gonna say I, I you know, but. 
I'm just saying you you cannot lie to order blocks. Um, it does look like it's retesting. I'm not going to say anything because I want to see what this four-hour close does. But realistically, guys, you already hit the top. You literally wicked. I'm not even joking. You literally wicked to the top of this channel at 56.91. I don't know how people didn't get stopped out at 56.80. Um, but yeah, you wicked to the top of the channel. So we'll see what uh, Luna does. Very, very bullish coin though right now. Very bullish. But when things are bullish, guys, and it reaches the top of resistance, that's usually where it'll drop. Jose, let's go. Marco, no problem. Thanks, random guy. <laughs> Luna's waiting for the stream to end. Where does Luna retest to? Well, I could look at the retest point here. Um... Fifty-two. Fifty-two Luna retests too. And if it breaks this and it goes down to down to fifty. But I can see Luna going to fifty two. Honestly, I can really see Luna. If you guys look at patterns, you gotta always look at patterns. Let's follow the channel, right? So I can see Luna retesting to 49, just like here, just like here, but you also overbought here and Luna, how much did Luna come down percentage wise when it dropped 12% on the four hour? Okay. What about this time? Bullish. 10%. Okay, so 12 to 10%. What is that at? You guys gotta look at patterns and how long they drop for. Wow, that literally puts you at the bottom of the channel. God, the market's making me work today. I would say 49 to 50 if that does reject there and it does look like it might. Would I book profits on API three? Let me see API three. You guys are absolutely killing me fam. There you go guys. API three tested that freaking wick. Okay, now API 3 is definitely going to gonna drop here a bit. Because API 3 hit the wick at the top, so now you're going to drop. You might hit another wick until you keep dropping. Um, but API 3 is definitely going to come down, guys. So that was a crazy fake out. That was a crazy freaking fake out. Okay. Anyways, guys, I'm done for tonight. Smash that like button. Uh, join the mentorship if you have not, guys. If I'm not right on Luna, I'm sorry. But order blocks don't lie for the most part. And uh, let's let's hopefully get our trade, guys. If you started shorting Luna, may may the crypto gods be with you. All right, guys. We'll we'll talk to you later tomorrow night, 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. Let's run it up, PMG fam. Appreciate it.